So thank you for coming out. It's good to see so many of the artists here. Um, uh, on behalf of the um, of the advisory committee for the Clay Studio that really was the, worked with Chris to plan this show, um, the purpose of the show really is to feature the artists and their relationship to Clay. And so this artist talk is not an afterthought. This is really more like the heart of the matter. Um, we're glad that there was such a such a great turnout. Uh, last Friday, but you know when you pack over 300 people into this space, it it didn't give us a lot of chance to dwell, you know, to linger. Um, so I think what we want to do, uh, first of all, if anyone needs a, a chair that doesn't already have one, we can round up some more. Um, and we're going to uh, do what they usually do at Artist Talks here, which is kind of move from place to place because we do need to see the work while the artists are, are talking. And um, I, I promised the first artist to arrive that she could go first. And so, and maybe, and maybe um, that's, it, that's the perfect thing because uh, Laura Ventura wasn't able to be here on last yeah. Friday night. And so uh, we're gonna give her a chance to, to say some words about her art. And we hope this will be a little interactive and there'll be some times for uh, uh, questions and dialogue. So I'm gonna kick this off by just asking Laura, um, could you tell us something about your relationship to Clay and where that started? Mm -hmm. uh, you want me to stand over there? Yes, okay. come over here by your beautiful woman. So, yeah, let me, well, first of all, I'm honored to be in the show. And um, I mean, gosh, like amazing company here. And uh, I'm hearing myself now and I feel like um, with uh, award season coming up, I sound like I'm ready to accept an Oscar or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, my relationship with Clay has been a little bit different. It's kind of been a little bit like the moon. It's waxed and waned, and, you know, sometimes that moon's hidden, and sometimes it's shining brightly, and I've allowed myself to let that happen. You know, I, it's okay with me. I don't beat myself up over that, and I think um, it all started in college, you know, and it was a total love affair. And I was working under the tutelage of Victor Stinsky, who uh, mm. was a real well-known artist at the time. And I just loved the physicality of working with clay and the um, combination of creativity and physicality. And I just realized that that's sort of been a common theme for me uh, all through life, whether I'm working with clay or working with something else. So after college, you know, um, real life came and marriage and this lovely man here <laughs> supporting me and kids and work and, and it was all kind of put aside. And then I had kind of a tragic car accident and I was rear-ended from behind and, um, you know, our Honda was an accordion and it was just a wake-up call. It was just like life is fragile and you never know what can happen and it's and i had a few dollars in my pocket and i just thought i want to make it count and i'm gonna get back to something that i really love and so i found myself going to the absalom jones um art center up in newcastle county delaware and uh, a lot of well a plethora of artists ceramic artists have come in and out of absalom jones and it was just a really nurturing environment to be in and then that led me to um explore um, the traditional art of slip decorated pottery from the Pennsylvania Germanic immigrants. And I really honed my skills in my own studio at home with um, slip decorating and um, slip trailing and sgraffito and worked at that for a number of years. And then, you know, another sort of unexpected life thing, um, I ended up working at home remodeling and refurbishing and it just became very physical and again sort of uh, took over my life creatively and pottery went to the side again for a number of years and um, that was okay but then I, re I uh, refurbished a house here in Tolchester and that led me to the clay studio here which had just moved from Still Pond to uh, into town and I also had been introduced to an artist work that was super textural and mural like Rhoda Kaler. She's in Westchester, uh, Pennsylvania. And it just like suddenly I crave, I just crave to have my hands in clay again. So I spent a number of years here at the studio and working on, um, you know, lots of work with texture and undulating forms and 
combining hand building with uh, wheel thrown elements and um, tile work and just had a great time a great time uh, doing thematic windows for the clay studio <laughs> and um, curating some shows we did the infamous um, abstract show that uh, was like in March of 2020 that was open for like a day okay. <laughs> the world <laughs> shut down yeah so you know then the final chapter COVID and um, this crazy girl here <laughs> Olive came into my life and she sort of um, has occupied a lot of my energy and time and um, and we moved to Sussex County Delaware and anyway uh, again six weeks ago I had a big knock on the door and I was I was slammed by a drunk driver and it was a really bad accident and um, you know I'm whole you know definitely was bruised and hurt but mentally a little bit broken and uh, it's been six weeks and I'm healing, I'm healing, but suddenly I just knew like the best medicine for me is this and I need to get back into the studio again. I've been dormant for a little bit. I need to get back in and be physical and creative and with this amazing nurturing community and you know, just let that moon wax again and shine. So anyway, that's my story. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.